sa kasalukuyan. What is up guys? Welcome back to Mars Daily, your daily dose of photo and video. And a little more about food. Siyempre, alam nyo naman, guys, ang pinaka-niche ng channel natin is B-roll. Today, medyo iba yung tables dahil meron tayong kakaibang content na tatahakin, which is isang food bowl restaurant review. Restaurant review. Meron tayong restaurant review. Dito lang yan sa Hodai. Isang official na Japanese restaurant, fusion Japanese cuisine kumbaga. So hopefully, expect nyo pagpasok na sa loob. Di tayo gano'ng makapagsalita dahil may music, baka makapirate tayo. Diretso punta na tayo sa food b-roll. Let's rate the service, the food, and the ambience. At hingin natin yung opinions nila pagdating sa Hodai. So, let's go! dito sa menu, lahat na nandito na yan. Yun yung nakita nyo ngayon sa may b-roll part natin. At next, istikman na natin kung ano nga ba ang verdict ng mga sinerv nila sa amin ngayon. Bukod sa, ang binigay sa amin ng gold set kasi, thank you very much Hodai for choosing us to review your restaurant. Kaya, yeah, tara na, let's go. So, bali, para sa akin, hindi ako technical na pagdating sa food. Pero, masasabi ko lang, What really caught my attention is yung Korean chicken. I'm an absolute big fan of chicken. At saka yung masarap yung mga maki nila. Pero the rest of the, uh, you know, yung pinaka-commentary ko sa food. Kaya ako na-hesitant before na gumamit na. Kasi hindi ko nakikita kung plus two or hindi. So ngayon, may natutunan ako importante about sa paggamit ng S-Log. Eh, meron pa lang tayong tinatawag na proper exposure. At kung mapapansin yung colors ko ngayon, nagre-record pa ako dun. Kung mapapansin yung colors ko ngayon, naka ano tayo, S-Log, Sony A63. Parang ano, parang R1 use up yung balat natin dito. Tamang trick lang tayo ngayon. Sana magamit ko tong footage na to. Pero, yun niya. So far, the food is great. Pero, isa-subcategorize natin siya. Meron tayong ambience, service, at yung food. At yung unang taong tatanungin ko para i-grade dong tatlong to. From 1 to 10, each of them is si Boss Jack. Ano, Boss Jack? Food. From 1 to 10. Seven. Out of 10. Uh, ambience. Eight. Tapos service. Hindi ko, hindi ko nire-rate yung service kapag uh, sponsored ano siya, uh, gig. So, ang suggestion ko is you guys to visit the place and try it out for yourself para makita nyo Okay, so kung pinlay ko man yung clip ko kanina about kay Gab, hinihingi ko yung opinion niya sa food, ambience, and service Sana nagamit ko yun kasi kung hindi ulitin ko na naman At tarunungin din natin yung dalawa kung anong grade nila sa food, sa ambience, at sa service Food, out of 10, ilan? 8.5 8.5 out of 10 Service Service dahil nag-vlog tayo sa loob. Wala kasi music. <laughs> yes. Yes. Ano? Uh, seven. Seven. Ambience. Ambience. Actually, okay ambience eh. Para sa akin, nine. Last one. Mood. Tol. Oh. Out of ten, food. Ilan? Para sa akin. Oh. Honest opinion. Honest rating. Oh. Seven. Seven. Ambience. Eight. Eight. Service. Oh, okay, ngayon service nila, nine. Pero overall, anong comments mo? Uh, yung price, tol. Yun yung ano eh. Yun yung malupit eh, no? Para sa akin, sulit, tol. Sulit na sulit yung ibabayad. Para sa akin, ha? Eh, di ka, Master Jacko De Leon Gornison. <laughs> okay, about sa ambience, personally. Nanood ako ng mga video sa YouTube about sa Hodai. Sa mga nag-review ng Hodai. And typically on video, hindi ko gano'n, you know, to be honest, hindi ko gano'n nagusto yung ambience sa video. Uh, mula yun sa vlogger, pero... On video, I, I'm not so sure why hindi ko gano'n nagustuhan. Pero nung nandito na ako, hindi ako na-disappoint sa ambience. As in, sobrang iba yung feel ng ambience. Parang modernish type, e pang cuisine na, I mean, mararamdaman mo rin malinis yung place. 
which is important kasi nga buffet siya. Di ba? Pag buffet isa sa mga important factors since order kayo ng order ng food, is manilis yung place. Which is for me, I give the place a 10. Service, I give it out for... I give it out at 10, actually. Dahil nag-focus sila rin sa mga customers nila. At di nila in-invade yung privacy namin as vloggers dahil nga busy kami sa pag-shoot ng food. And lastly, yung food. Kung ko-focus tayo sa food, sa bahay. Let's give a more in-depth description sa mga food kasi I've been to a lot of Japanese restaurants and one thing I could say, this is the first Japanese restaurant buffet na napuntahan ko and it's not disappointing. Mamaya ako nabibigyan ka rin ko sa bahay. Okay, so let's roll over the food quick. So, isa sa mga nag-standout na food para sa akin is yung Korean, yung Korean fried chicken pala. From oily to dry to soggy and crispy chicken, I've been there. I'm a, I'm a huge fan of fried chicken. When it comes to their Korean fried chicken, it's good. Hindi oily, hindi siya masyadong maalat, hindi rin siya masyadong matamis. Nandun lang siya sa level na gugustuhin mong balik-balikan. Yung tonkatsu, which is one of the most important food pagdating sa Japanese cuisine. Nakakain ako ng tonkatsu na masakit sa gums. Pag kinain mo, crispy masyado, magsusugat yung gums mo. I don't know if kayo nararanasan yun. Kasi ako, oo, madalas kong nararanasan sa tonkatsu yun. But there's, it's not too much of that crispiness na pag eh, may matotroma ka pag tas mo kumain kasi may sugat na yung gums mo. Tama lang. The flavor, it's rich, it's flavory, it's it's amazing. Tapos, fish fillet. When it comes to the fish fillet, nakatigim na rin ako ng fish fillet na oily, soggy, uh, mushy on the inside. Meron naman yung sobrang tigas sa loob pa. Isda na talaga. But there's, it's exactly right. Para lang din siyang tonkatsu. Tama lang yung consistency ng lasa niya. It explodes in your mouth once you've tasted it. It's not too salty. Tama lang yung flavors. The sauce complements the fish. Lastly, for me, yung spicy cheese barbecue bowl, it's different kasi <laughs> bihira ako makakita na nag-partner ang barbecue sa, you know, sa Japanese cuisine. Usually, chicken teriyaki yan or katsu don or, you know, it's barbecue you rarely see that sa Japanese cuisine. Siguro ako, dahil ilang Japanese restaurant yung nakainan ko na walang ganun. And um, para sa akin ha, just for me, I think yung spicy cheese barbecue bowl nila is yung meat, medyo na overpower niya yung cheese. Although, pa, sa mga nakikita ko sa mga FBFB, yung mga, yung mga meat na pinapartner out sa cheese, usually mozzarella. So, eh, baka expect nyo kasi na mozzarella yung cheese na nakapartner dun. It's not. It's like a cheese dip that goes out with the meat, although the meat is semi-overpowering. Binigay ko naman yung comments ko sa chef na ganun yung lasa. Um, but it's not that bad. It's, it's, pwede na, it's good. Takte para tayong James Reed mag-critic ng pagkain. I like the food. It's tasty. It's not that salty. Hindi, <laughs> pero seryoso, yung spicy barbecue cheese bowl nila, tama lang yung lasa. Although, medyo overpowering lang yung lasa ng barbecue kasi medyo salty yung barbecue. Tapos yung cheese salty din. So, I don't know how to fuse that out. And when it comes to their ambience, they're not disappointing. Kasi, um, magbo-buffet ka and the number one thing you want is yung ambience na malinis. Mabango. Hindi oily yung lamesa. Hindi greasy yung, yung bawat. Alam mo, yung pagpatong ng arms mong ganun sa lamesa is maramdaman mo yung kadiring mantika. It's not like that. Uh, malinis. It's hygienic. Actually, to be honest, I've been to other uh, buffets na medyo hindi ganun ka ganda yung yung, alam mo yun, yung lamesa. Usually, yun yung comment ko para sa akin. It's cleanliness that takes me away when it comes to buffets. Uh, baka mag-expect kayo na sa Hoday may ramen na walang ramen. Although, still, nandun pa rin yung gyoza, nandun pa rin yung katsu. Although, wala lang ramen. Kasi imagine mo buffet ka, tapos ramen titirahin mo. Ewan ko na lang kung di ka maganda bundat-bundat mo. But, yeah. Once again, their ambience, it's a 10 over 10. Their food, it's a 9 over 10. 9.5 pala. It's a 9 over... 9.5 over 10. Yung service, they're customer friendly. I love it. Lastly, Marco, you're not the cook. I am the cook. Alright, you got that? Next time, don't review the food. You're the worst. <laughs> no, to be honest, um, their food is great. Ambience is unexpectedly great. Iba siya compared to mga kong videos. For the service, guys, I would like to leave the experience sa inyo. Since na-experience ko ang Hoday kasama ang squad and we all have our own opinions sa kanya-kanya naming vlog, gusto ko naman marinig ang opinions mo. Nyo, kumbaga. And within a week, I will be giving away two 
tickets. Pwede nyo isamang date mo, girlfriend mo, nanay mo, tatay mo. You can give, you know, when you win the tickets, you can give it to your parents para sila mag-date or to your grandparents or to whomever na kung sino man gusto mo makasama sa Hoday. You get to experience it yourself. At syempre, makakapag-avail kayo ng silver set nila. At maraming maraming salamat nga pala sa Hodai for sponsoring this vlog. At syempre, huwag nyo rin kakalimutan na mag-like, comment, share, and subscribe. Um, the mechanics to win the giveaway is in the description box below. I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Ako nga pala si Marco Mars. Peace out.